Uh, this is uh, how I create a new project in Eclipse because when you first get Eclipse it can look a bit confusing. Um, right, first of all what I do is a window, show view and you make sure Project Explorer is being shown and that's this here and these are all my projects and what I do is I just right click an empty space, new, project and then it's easy to click general project here but what you want to do is Java and Java project and then go next into the name of it, my new fancy project, and then uh, it just creates the folder for it, and then click finish. And then what you want to do to create your first piece of source code, you expand the project, expand source, right? There's nothing in it, so you right-click source, new class, and if it's your first class, you want to make sure it's got the main function in it. And because uh, your first uh, code file needs to have the main function in, that's the first function that gets called in Java. Uh, just call it whatever. Don't call it whatever you do. Don't call it lowercase main because it'll get mixed up with this function here, and it will cause you quite a few problems. So you can call it uppercase main, or you know, my my game, something like that. Um, it's good grammar to use the f uh, uppercase letters at the beginning, so like uh, player or fish, something like that. If you use lowercase, it can get mixed up with like variable names, things like that. So use it. Um, you use a uh, uh, suitable name for your first class. So class, use that. Um, uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. Uh, see it says there, the use of default packages discouraged, I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, so what I do is just set up that and then just go finish. And then here we are. This is our first bit of code. Just delete the commented out stuff. So there we go, so when you click the green run arrow, it'll run main. So that in here is where you put your code, system.out.println. And then the speech works. Hello world. Then I can run it. See, it says hello world. Um, um, and what it does is you see here the layout. So, Project Explorer. These are my projects. So, this project is called that. Then, in it, inside of it, you've got a um, you've got a folder to put all your source code in. Uh, inside that is uh, your packet, the default package, and what packages are? They're like folders to organize the code. If you've got tons and tons of Java files, uh, you need to organize them all. So, like some of them might be related to networking, you know, like to deal with the internet. Some of them might be related to graphics if you're making a game or something like that. And you've got loads. So what you do is create packages, and they're just folders. But um, I don't generally lose, use them for small projects. What it'll do is it'll create a default package, and your code goes in there. Um, if you want to create a, a, a project that you, uh, which uses packages, I do this. So, delete this uh, project. Du -du 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 -du. This is what I do. So, right click on my Project Explorer, new project, Java project, name a, a cool project. Then, um, go finish. And then right click the source folder, new package, and then you can just put um, uh, code or something like that, uh, lowercase, the folder names, there we go, code, and then you can then right click on code, new class, make sure it's got the main because it's our first thing and call it um, start or whatever. Finish. So what it does is it, in your source folder, creates another folder called code and then inside that folder we've got our first bit of uh, code, the start.java and um, what happens is it writes at the very beginning of the Java file package code and that uh, that tells Java when you click here to run the program it just tells it that it's meant to be in the code folder so um, yeah so that tells you what folder it's meant to be in and then here's your class and then you can just write system.out.println See it works. And then run it. See, there you go. It works. And um, if 
you create multiple packages, so source new package, and then I'll call it useless. And then inside there, I put a new class, call it um, has no has no use. Finish, and then and then create a new integer never used like that. Um, if you need to use this class for some reason, uh, if you try and use, if you just try and use it in Java, so you say uh, has no use object, so it creates a new variable called my object or a new object that's got that. It will come up now, and it wants you to import it. When you import it, it imports it. Useless dot has no use. Dots are like. Uh, you know on Windows when you've got your uh, folders you've got slashes so libraries slash documents or when you open up your C drive or something uh, it's got C drive slash program files when Java you put dots so it's useless dot has no use so we go source useless has no use uh, it's just the way you use folders like if you're organizing your code but yeah generally I don't use packages I just right click the source go new and then class but yeah so um, that's how you set up a basic project in um, Java. Uh, yes, yeah, my I said. Again.